early worm gets the bird. Is that how it goes? Anyway, guys, it's uh, 420 <laughs> a.m. <laughs> Shit, I couldn't sleep, so I thought, hell, I'll just get up. Let's get it rolling here, guys. I got, I got bags of stuff everywhere. There's all my bedding. Well, you can't see it behind me. I got it all rolled up to put in the back of the car. I doubt if I'll be able to see out the windows. <laughs> I got all kind of crap in there. But be that as it may, on the road again this morning. But anyway, uh, there's, you know, I'm going to pick up my, quote, mail order bride, <clears throat> so to speak, my Class C motorhome. I've never seen it. I've never been in one. I mean, uh, I've been in Class C's, and I've looked at it on the Internet until I feel like I've, I've lived in it for a year. But uh, anyway, I call it my mail order bride. So, you know, today is the day. And uh, But if you ever read the book or watch the movie called The Good Earth, uh, it was based on a book, well, it's a book written by Pearl S. Buck, uh, who was a lady that wrote under a pseudonym, another name, but be that as it may, Pearl S. Buck wrote the book The Good Earth, and it's about this family in China during the uh, revolution, and I guess you'd call it a depression, too, because uh, it was hard times, but anyway, it's a good book. Anyway, this son, they they found a wife for their son, that's kind of the way they did, and uh, so he'd never seen her, and so he had to go one day and pick her up. So the day that he had to go pick her up, he was just bouncing around the house, and his buddy was saying, today is the day. <laughs> so that's the way I am. Today's the day. Got it? Anyway, enough said about that. <clears throat> Last day in my 2019 Casita 17-footer, 84 square feet. Paya, bye-bye, Casita. You've been a good friend, and enjoy your life with my son. Uh, anyway, long-time, full-time RVer, and today is the first day of the rest of your life. Boom, it is, a new adventure. Yeah, we're on the road doing something different, guys. And, uh, yeah, and you're in charge of it. So it's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. It is right now. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go for it. Let's make it a good day. Anyway, what else? Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Lano, Texas? The temperature in Lano right now is 31 degrees. 31 with a high of 80 and a 0% chance of rain. And it, Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Alvarado, Texas? <clears throat> in Alvarado right now, it's Alvarado. 38 degrees. 38 with a high of 78. Not bad. But anyway, hey, Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? The temperature in Bangor right now is 22 degrees. With a high of 32 and a low of 20, 22% chance of rain. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana? The current temperature in Butte is 29 degrees. With a high of 44 and a low of 14 and no rain. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Fairbanks, Alaska? The temperature in Fairbanks right now is 4 degrees. That's the high. The low is going to be minus 7 with a 10% chance icebergs. Anyway, this is my gang back here. Now, how that's going to transfer into the new Class C, I'm not sure. Well, I'll work, I'm working on something now. But anyway, hey, Google, tell us a joke. Why are ninjas so fit? Because they only eat stealth food. All right, I'll go for that. Here's a joke right here out of the joke book. It says, the teacher asked, Johnny, what is the chemi chemical formula for water? Johnny replied, H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O. His teacher exclaimed, what are you talking about? Johnny said, yesterday said it's H2, H2O. <laughs> Oh, Johnny, I, I can I, I can identify with old Johnny. But anyway, H to O, I got it, babe. Uh, anyway, so we got the joke. Oh, we got to do the quote. Got to do the quote. Got the quote. The quote button. You mash the little button and the quote comes out. Who says nothing is impossible? I've been doing nothing for years. Okay. How do you do nothing? It's impossible. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Unless you're dead. Uh, but anyway, guys, moving right along here, we'll do some comments now. Anything else? I'm trying to, man, my mind, you, <laughs> I got notes on the notes, and I got notes to remind me to look at the notes, because I got to check. I want to be sure that I wake up tomorrow morning in a position to be able to fix my normal breakfast, and I want to have all my bedding so that I have a normal night's sleep. You know, I want to basically transfer just about everything, and I've just about done it. That poor little old... Nissan thing I have out there is kind of squatting on the ground. 
it, it's not, there's not that much. In fact, I'll have a lot of empty uh, overhead storage in the Class C. I, I was thinking about that yesterday where my, I, I got more spaces than I got stuff to put. But anyway, Paul S., woohoo on the loading up. You got it, babe. Uh, thank you, Paul S. Fast Car 351, I'm so excited for you and can't wait for you to post a video of the Class C inside and out. Like you said, this is a new chapter in your life, and I can't wait to go on adventures with you. Keep up the videos, Rusty. Yeah, the whole thing is an adventure. That's what I like. See, it's been an adventure for me for three months. You know, you do that four times, that's a year. <clears throat> yeah, thank you, Fast Car 351. Gary D. And, and the Rockettes? No, it's Jimmy D. or somebody. Happy trails, Rusty. I think it's very smart of you taking the secondary roads. Less traffic, less stress. Have a safe trip. Yeah, you, you're right. Good. And I've also got the, the directions in my car already laying on the seat. Thank you. Who was that? Gary D. Thank you. PJ Frog 10, I'm excited for you. Thank you very much. A lot of people said that. JP Merrick, I missed a step. What's to happen to the casita? It's going to go to my son. JP Merrick, we're having fun with you, buddy. Vicarious. And whatever. Well, I'm vicarious with y'all, I guess. We're all vicarious. Maybe that's the name of our family, vicarious. Uh, Avalon Misks, how exciting. Merry Christmas, or at least happy day, happy rusty day. Well, thank you, Avalon Misks. Same to you. Annette F., that means Annette Funicello from the old Mouseketeers. Anyway, the big day has finally arrived. Looking forward to seeing your new adventures. Yeah, me too. It's uh, 425 in the morning here. <laughs> That's, I don't know why I did. I couldn't sleep. Anyway, Terry Edmondson, about time. I'm worn out. It will be nice. No worries. Good luck. Take care. Terry. Well, thank you, Terry. I hope you're right, babe. Well, the, big, the, the biggest part of it's over. Getting the rent car was the thing I was concerned about because, you know, I had it all planned. And then I got over there to get the rent car and you know, they didn't even have it ready, you know. And I had to wait for them to go clean it and detox it or whatever they do, de-germ it. Anyway, it was crazy, man. I thought, well, you know, hey, guys, you've been knowing this for months. I mean, it's a, never mind. Oscar Zelaya, would you like to sell to me? No, I'm not, I've already given it to my son. Uh, Prairie Night Moon, getting close, gr getting exciting. Have a safe trip. Thank you. Gary Ferguson, I hope you have swivel chairs in the class C. I don't. But I'll be able to swivel on that bench sweet bench seat, not bench sweet. You know, I do that a lot. I, I get words mixed up, <clears throat> but that's all right. That's the way I am. Scotty Thompson, cool video, tech talk, LOL, yes, okay, yep, okay, okay. Thank you, Scotty Thompson, the mass bowler in Wisconsin. Matt's tech review. I can't wait, Rusty. So happy for you. And if this comment makes it to the comment call, say hi to the goat, the goat, the goat. <laughs> Got the <to> goat. <laughs> doom, doom, doom. Yo. Good morning, kiss from the old stinking goat. <laughs> Jeez. Shelly, how exciting. Be safe. Enjoy. Thank you. Adventures of Skogen. Okay. Best wishes with the new rig. Happy travels. Can't wait to see you in it. Well, me too. Here's my man from Wisconsin, the professional bowler, Scotty Thompson. Cool video talk. Thank you, Scotty Thompson. Shelly, happy for you, Rusty. Thank you. Juana Hernandez, TK. Thanks. I'm not sure what that TK. What's TK mean? I don't know. Well, TK to you. Scotty Thompson again. Well, Scotty, you've been up late writing comments, boy. Do you use golfing gloves? No. Uh, cool comment call. Thank you, Scotty Thompson, for your input. <clears throat> Does it help to wear a golf a glove? I, it, it may help some people. It doesn't help me a bit because it ain't the glove. I guarantee you it isn't. Mike Wood, Augusta, Georgia. It's Wednesday Eastern time. Can't wait. It's 12.04 a.m. Well, here it's, well, about 5.30 now. Pat Ken, safe traveling, Rusty. Thank you, Pat Ken. Will Hunt, don't forget to load in the kitchen sink and all the junk. I don't have much junk, guys. Uh, in fact, it, I'm, I'm impressed uh, that I have virtually nothing. I mean, I got, I got a few plastic bags, Walmart bags full of stuff. Uh, anyway, thank you, Will. John Voltegeld, the time is nigh, finally. Can't wait. So the casita goes to your son. What did you decide to do with the truck? I'm going to keep it till I get tired of it, I guess. We'll see how it works. I mean, I think the truck will come in handy. 
Linda Hardy, boy, Rusty, it's getting more real by the minute. It's damn real right now. <laughs> I'm telling you. I hope you're able to get some sleep tonight. I barely. Uh, I know I wouldn't. Have a safe and enjoyable drive in tomorrow morning. Yeah, I'm, I'm in no hurry. See, the downside, the only downside, if there is one, you know, it's a small car, that's one. But two, driving in the Texas Hill Country early in the morning, right around sunrise, uh, is uh, deer kill city. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to be in a hurry. Uh, Gio, Gino Any, for someone who likes his privacy, there is absolutely none there. You're talking about here at the RV park? I am I got privacy inside my RV. There's only me in here, as far as I know, and my gang. Uh, Franny Lee 38, ha, 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 I don't know any of that on my car either. Okay, ha, ha, okay. <clears throat> I don't know. Oh, she doesn't know the name of her car. Yeah, Eric McAlee, McAlee, can't wait, Rusty. Happy for you. Make sure you double, triple, quadruple check the caulking and sealing. Uh, well, I'll, I'll uh, check it out best I can. You know, I'm not a mechanic or whatever, but I, I've been around RVs for a long time. But thank you for your input, Eric. Jason Hayward, good luck picking up the new rig. I don't think you bought enough shirts or brought enough shirts or soda, though. I brought That's everything I own. <laughs> oh, and the soda... Uh, whenever I play golf, I, I drink one Diet Dr. Pepper because they have free ice. And I got a big styrofoam cup, and I go in to get me a cup of ice for free. Put that Dr. Pepper in there and buy me. I, I'd usually take a Snickers candy bar when I play golf. But I don't play that much anyway. <clears throat> Mabel Lane, I'm very happy for you, Rusty. Well, thank you, Mabel. Tanner, will you be drinking four two liters no, I, I don't drink Diet Dr. Pepper. Rarely. I, I may drink that six-pack I've had for two months, I've got, and two of them are gone. Uh, no, so, I, I mean, have a good night on, in, in the new rig. Treat yourself to another of the two, another beer or two tomorrow. No, I'm taking beer. Don't worry about that. i got my beer and wine uh, loaded. In fact, I've got different things in different bags, like I've got my breakfast bag with all my breakfast stuff, and I've got another bag with miscellaneous and, and, and the bedding is just rolled up in a pile. <clears throat> so it'll all work out because what I figured I'd do, I'd get everything in and put it on the bed and on the table, the little dining table, and then just take one bag at a time. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Okay. Uh, Mabel Lane, I'm very happy for you. Thank you. Tanner, we, oh, I read that. James Richardson, have an awesome time the next few days and beyond. We are happy for you. Thumbs up to you. Uh, I'm excited for you, Rusty. Can't wait to see the new gym. Me too, babe. I mean, it's the Class C. It's not anything that fancy, really. I mean, it's, it's the cheapest one I could find. Walter Pendleton, enjoy your journey. Scott Baker, it's always fun to listen to your adventures. Well, you know, that's the way life is for me, guys. I just kind of got in the routine several years ago of, of uh, making life a little more uh, interest, adding a little more flavor, let me say that, you know. A variety is the spice of life, and I, I subscribe to that. Jane Bray, Rusty, I got a Nissan Pathfinder SUV, tow load, load 5,000 pounds, and I got an RV Update 2. Plans are changed to a 19-foot, 112-square-feet living, luxury living, custom-built travel trailer, a Taylor coach. Well, good for you, Jane Bray. I hope it works out and you enjoy it, and I hope they open the Canadian border pretty soon. Patrick Hagens, is your new Class C fiberglass also? Nope, it ain't. I don't know what it is. It's got some kind of siding. It's mostly aluminum and stuff. I don't know what it is. Hell, it, it's what it is. <laughs> Rocky the Rock, don't forget the goat. I won't. Put him on the dash, looking outside. You should name the Class C goat. Now, that'd be a catchy name. Thank you for that valuable input. <laughs> name your RV goat. <laughs> I guess I could, or donkey. Thank you, Rocky. Russell McGinnis. Rusty, what are you doing with your casita? I don't know if you said, I must, so I must admit, you haven't been watching my videos. Uh, my son's going to take it. Rocky the Rock's got two here. Rem remember to take the nice, that nice big first, oh, remember to take that first big nice smell, the brand new smell, and I always love that brand new smell. Yeah, well, it, I don't know how it smells inside the Class C because they got all kind of different products in there. Rocky the Rock, I am here. Rusty, watching your videos, trying to catch up on some videos. I'm excited for you. We're all been waiting for this moment. Yeah, it's it's here, babe. Time, time, you know, that's why I'm always saying, if there's anything you want to do, you better be doing it because time's going. 
Michael Cup, safe travels. Thank you. Uh, we'll do a few more and I'll shut her down. Larry Olson, how do you access that screen, please? How do I access that screen? Oh, uh, oh, you're talking about for the Windows. Uh, I made that. You can you can buy that. You go to Ace Hardware somewhere and just get you some uh, mosquito netting, and and cut it to fit. That's on the buy to. Well, that's it's on a Prius. Uh, Janelle Queen, I want one. That's on the storage building. Okay, get one. We'll do four more here, and then we'll shut her down. I got to go, go, go. I got the itch, itch, itch. Sharon L. Yippie Kyle, here we go. You got it. Uh, what brief? Uh, got some smiling faces. Harold Gatlin, open up another page in your life. Congratulations, partner. Yeah, it's open now, babe. Rick S., hey, Rusty, wishing you a safe trip to pick up the new Class C. You must be a bit excited. A bit, a bit, a bit. Uh, a new rig, a different chapter in your life. Uh, 1956 wrote, are you going to tow your truck? No. Anyway, guys. From Central Texas on a cool morning, I'm going to turn the heater on again, and i got to remember to take this Polonis heater with me and the Google Home device and all this other stuff. <coughs> but anyway, thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Buy anything you want any time. Uh, carpe diem means seize the day in Latin. Uh, adios. Bye-bye. Buy anything you want any time. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. You just click on the link, go to Amazon, buy whatever you want. Doesn't cost you one penny. Amazon takes care of old Rusty. So what else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you will not want to eat so much. The only real way to lose weight is what? Boom, eat less. And then what else? Take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. I've been puffing like a train, man, because that relieves stress and relieving stress lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Yes, do it several times a day. Then what else? Stretch, 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 swivel, 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 walk, 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 pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day every single day. Why? Because uh, you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer, healthier. How about that one? And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. All those little neurons in there are forming neural links, which is every thought you conceive, your, all your memories, all your stuff. So add good ingredients. Add good ingredients. How about that, guys? Don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. You know, use your titanium cranium to keep out negativity. Accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative. Enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. Every day, okay? And what else? At ease. Carry on. Adios. Bye-bye. Hasta uh, luego. Aloha. Until next time. What about a noon video? I don't know, guys. Whatever happens, happens. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> but anyway, guys, basically, uh, I'll shoot them up as fast as I can get to them and get them uploaded. Anyway, adios. Bye-bye. Hopefully, they'll have good internet. <laughs>